Kamala Divana to movie review. Dharmendra Charm, Sunny Deol Rowe as Bobby Deol entertain. Compared to the first part of the franchise, the second edition lives up to its title. This new con game is indeed full of entertainment, dhamal and masti, all in true Deol style. The Deols as Dharmendra, Sunny and Bobby are back and how. As predicted by the movie's maker, Straight Pandits and Us, the Damdar Deol family has certainly doubled up the magic this time. We are impressed. To make it look and feel relatable with the first part, YPD 2 2 starts in Benares, where Dharam, that's Dharmendra, and his son Gajodal, that's Bobby Deol, are still conning people. And then they bump into filthy rich UK based businessman Yograj Khanna, played by Anu Kapoor, and decide to con him too. Dharam takes his disciple, that's Yograj, for a ride as he wants Gajodal to marry Khanna's daughter Suman, played by Neha Sharma. Palwinder Singh Dhillo, that's Sunny Deol, works as a debt collector in the UK. He takes up the job of a manager at Yograj's club to find out why he hasn't been able to repay his bank loan. While doing so, the judge falls in love with Yograj's other daughter, Reet, played by Christina Akiva. Just when Palvinder believes that this father and brother have given up conning people and are living a Sharifa Wala life in Benares, as promised by them in the climax of Yamla Pagla Diwana, he's shocked to see the Adat Se Majboor Baap Beta pair in the UK. The three deos then plunge into a crazy, action-packed, impish and over-the-top sequence of events. The twist in the story, Dharam and Gajodar travel to the UK with the intention of duping Yograj. But they aren't aware that he's bankrupt and Palwinder is helping him clear up the mess. They realize this too late since Suman is soon head over heels in love with Gajodar. If that wasn't enough, the con men are faced with a new shocker. Suman is not Yograj's legitimate or real daughter. That puts them in a new kind of fix. In the meanwhile, Palvinder helps Khanna's real daughter, that's Reet, renovate her pub, thereby impressing Yograj. But Dharam and Gajodar don't give up easily. Instead, they devise a new plan in which Dharam asks Gajodar to forget Suman and concentrate on patawing Reet, much to Palvinder's dismay. Dharam tries every trick possible to get his son married to Reet and convince Yograj that Gajodar is the right guy for his daughter. Palvinder requests Dharam and Gajodar not to cheat Yograj and his daughter Suman, who truly loves Gajodar. But the greedy father son duo rubbish his suggestion. And then follows a series of one upmanship stunts and right overdoing wrong acts. YPD2 is a bigger, better, and funnier ride than its prequel. Apart from bringing out the crackling real life chemistry between father and son, the film reveals in its light hearted tone, scoring high marks in the dialogue department. And with director Sangeet Sivan of Kya Kool Hai Hum fame, Helming the project and the inclusion of Anu Kapoor, it's trying for the perfect UK accent, and Johnny Lever in the cast, the humour quotient of the film reaches a new high. Though the humour is slapstick, the gags are hilarious in bits and parts. It's a treat to watch the veteran Dharmendra matching up to his sons and ably supporting them in this fun endeavour. At 70, the original He-Man of Bollywood still has the energy and good looks that would give any hero a run for his money. Sunny Leo lives up to his reputation and is as real and entertaining as he could be. Lover boy Bobby shines equally with his dearest father and big brother. The cinematography is decent while the action is intentionally larger than life, though entertaining. Especially in the last 15 minutes, where Sunny single-handedly takes on four gigantic sumo wrestlers with his trademark roar. The editing could have been crisper, but it is better than in the first part, which was rather slow and dull. On the whole, YPD2 is a fun-filled popcorn entertainer that provides double the maza, double the fun, double the treat and of course triple the deos. So go catch this crazy action-packed mysterious ride. The Sangeet Sivan directorial has the potential to be a mass entertainer, provided it gets good word-of-mouth publicity. It will do amazingly well in a single screen but average in multiplexes. A couple of distributors who've paid unreasonably high prices may lose part of their investment, but those losses will be less than the profits made by the producers. Our thumbs up for the day old's trio and its honest efforts to provide wholesome entertainment. Our rating for the movies, 3 stars out of 5.